Speaking to the clerk to Russian commissioners, Phil Gorn, on uh, Sunday lunchtime. And uh, Mr Gorn, Saturday morning, we received a media release through from the Department of Infrastructure announcing that, um, well, effectively, Russian have, have hit back in this dispute with uh, Port Erin commissioners about the Balakilia estate. Uh, Port Erin wanting to take all of it within its uh, jurisdiction. Uh, now Russian has come back saying that, in fact, you want to take the entirety of the estate into your jurisdiction. Is this tit for tat? It, we, we feel that it's uh, unfortunate, uh, or the Russian Post Commissioners feel that it's unfortunate that it's come to this. Um, back in 2014, Russian Parish Commissioners uh, were sat in a room with Port Air and Commissioners discussing how we could collectively manage uh, this new development at Balakilia. Uh, and um, we would like to get back to that situation where we were decide, deciding amongst ourselves how to how to resolve this matter. Um, we feel that the intervention of uh, inquiries and having the department involved uh, seems largely unnecessary. However, we were left with effectively uh, little choice uh, last week but to uh, take the action we've done. Um, the, effectively, the, um, the way in which the criteria are laid down by uh, Tinwald, by which an inquiry into such matters can be considered, meant that Port Erin only had to meet one of six criteria uh, to be uh, granted the boundary extension. Um, we reasonably, I think, can argue that we meet all six of the criteria um, and uh, we don't particularly want to take uh, uh, Port Aaron, uh, you know, this this chunk of houses from Port Aaron, but bearing in mind that's the the only uh, option really left to us, uh, the Russian Parish Commissioners very reluctantly took the decision to uh, to to put in their own boundary uh, application. So, is it a, a genuine bid with the intention of wanting to do, to do so, or is it a negotiating tactic? We would we would certainly hope that we can all sit down like mature adults and discuss the way forward. We think it would be in everyone's interests to get this matter resolved as quickly as possible. Um, but we felt that the gross in inequity that was about to be done to us uh, from the decision that uh, the minister had taken and was hoping to get endorsed by Tinwald had to be um, uh, challenged. Um, what I can say for any any Port Aaron residents uh, who may be affected by this uh, particular uh, boundary extension application is that Russian parish commissioners can give them assurances that they will retain or, 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 or continue to have the same level of service but probably pay half the rates if we were successful. Um, but uh, as I say, I think Russian parish commissioners are looking to have some form of negotiated settlement. We would much prefer that. Um, but I think what we're highlighting here as much as anything is how the existing criteria uh, urgently need to be reviewed because quite frankly, they, they don't work. Doesn't it also highlight the strangeness of this very situation where you've got an estate with basically identical properties either side of, of the street, one side falls within one local authority and the other falls within the other? Strange, yes. Um, unprecedented, absolutely not. Uh, we have a house um, on the boundary between Russian and Arbury, half of which is in Arbury, half of which is in Russian. Port St Mary and Port Aaron have share shared the old Southlands building, half in each uh, uh, jurisdiction, uh, for 40 or 50 years without any problem whatsoever. Um, if you want to go to, to a national level, uh, you've got uh, Germany and the Netherlands. Uh, I think they share a border which runs through the middle of a bank. Um, is it Belgium and the Netherlands? I think uh, there's a um, they, they share a boundary which run, runs down, down the middle of a street. Um, th these things happen. Um, Grown-up, mature people tend to, to sit down and talk and, and decide how, how, how we manage these things to reduce the impact on people who use those particular areas. Uh, we did, did, did though, well, Russian parish commissioners were very concerned at the what they felt was a fairly aggressive uh, um, attack on our, our um, parish by Port Aaron. Uh, and as I think we've demonstrated, or has been demonstrated through the inquiry and the minister's ultimate decision, um, Port Aaron had nothing to lose here, uh, a couple of grand perhaps for the, the costs of the inquiry, but other than that, um, 
there's no there's no uh, they don't put anything in jeopardy by 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 making this application. I think had the application been made in such a way, or, or had the criteria allowed for Port Aaron to lose their part of the estate or Russian to lose its part of the st the estate, there's no way Port Aaron would have put in for this application. Um, so I think it's uh, it is unfortunate uh, for those who aren't aware the criteria specifically exclude the main issue, which is. Uh, the costs uh, to both authorities, um, either the, the, the cost benefits to, to Port Aaron or the, uh, the, 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 the disbenefit to, to Russian, um, added to which the, the whole development relies on a uh, recreational uh, area and public open space which is owned by Russian in the parish of Russian and which we as Russian parish commissioners will have to continue to develop and maintain. So we have the cost and we lose all the money, um, which just seemed grossly unfair to the Russian parish commissioners. Now, the statement from the department this weekend did conclude by saying that uh, discussions would take place with both local authorities over the coming months before determining how to proceed. I take it it's very early stages, so you're not aware as to what form those discussions will take or, or when they will happen or anything yet? No, uh, there's, there's no uh, further information on that. Um, but as I say, Russian want to find an amicable solution that uh, allows everyone to walk away uh, from this whole matter uh, with some degree of, of, of face saved. Um, but I, I think the whole issue particularly in relation to rates and the disparity in the rates, uh, does raise uh, some very interesting questions which uh, hopefully will be explored. Now, on the one hand, you have local, smaller local authorities who perhaps ought to pay a bit more, uh, and you know I think uh, Russian parish commissioners have acknowledged that over the years. But on the other hand, you have the very large uh, um, local authorities who um, do have serious questions to answer in relation to the, 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 the vast expense of their administration. So uh, uh, I don't think it's as simple as many people think. I think most people, when, they, when you talk about local authorities, say, well, it's simple, we just get the big ones to take over the small ones. Um, but actually, there's some very significant uh, costs associated with the large ones, which do need to be looked into. Does it not also therefore highlight the need for greater amalgamation? It is often said that there are far too many local authorities in the Isle of Man, particularly some of the very, very, very small ones, and, and people argue that there could be regional ones or certainly greater cooperation or, or something must happen surely to, to, to change the current situation. And, and I suppose the argument from from uh, Russian is yes, we're you know we're 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 up for for, for working with uh, neighbours. Indeed, Arbery and Russian are currently in the midst of a discussion uh, with the pot potential uh, result of a uh, merger. I mean, it's not decided yet, but it may happen. Uh, that would create the second largest Southern Authority in the south of the island, uh, but by far and away the cheapest. Um, now, in a time where we are constrained in relation to our finances across the island, particularly in, in, in government, um, you have to ask the question, why would uh, the smaller authorities who do seem to have a model which is much more efficient uh, than the large ones, why would they be um, effectively abolished and the larger, less efficient uh, model be the one that wins through. It doesn't seem to make an awful lot of sense to me. I think most people uh, listening uh, to, to, to this programme would probably be wanting um, a more efficient um, local government system, not a less efficient local government system.